A pleasant greetings to all. In this video, I am going to explain a problem in root locus. Sketch root locus of the system whose open loop transfer function is g of s is equal to k divided by s into s plus 2 into s plus 4. Find the value of k so that the damping ratio of closed loop system is 0.5. So first this is the given transfer function k divided by s into s plus 2 into s plus 4. So first we have to locate the poles and zeros. So first of all find out the poles. How to find out the poles? Take the denominator s into s plus 2 into s plus 4 equal to 0. So from this s is equal to 0 or s is equal to minus 2 and s is equal to minus 4. So these are the poles of the equation. Poles are marked by cross as shown in figure c s equal to 0 so put a cross mark and s is equal to minus 2 put a cross mark s is equal to minus 4 put a cross mark and next we are going to find out root locus on real axis okay here three poles on real axis is there any zeros there is no open loop zeros choose a test point first of all I am going to choose a test point between the poles 0 and 2. So first choose a test point. Okay, here this is a test point P1. And to the right of the point, total number of poles and zeros. Okay, to the right of the, this is the right of the point. The total number of poles are 1. There is no zeros, so the number is odd number. So root locus is excess between minus 1 to 2. Sorry, 0 to minus 2 root locus exists. And next, from minus 2 to minus 4, locate another one point. This point is P2. Now, towards the right, find out the number of poles. Here, number of poles are 2, that is a even number. So, there is no root locus exists between minus 2 and minus 4. And next, you have to choose a test point P3. And you have to look at the right of the test point. And how many poles? There are three numbers of poles. And this is the odd number. So, root locus exists between minus 4 to infinity. So, root locus exists between minus 2 to 0 and root locus exists between minus 4 to infinity. Okay, these are the root locus. And next, we are going to find out asymptotes and centroid. So, how to find out the asymptote? So, asymptote, the formula is plus or minus 180 into 2q plus 1 divided by n minus m. n is number of poles and n is number of zeros. So, number of poles. How many poles in this given equation? That is 3. Number of zeros that is m that is equal to 0. Okay, now put the values. First q is equal to 0 and find out number of asymptotes. So, number of asymptotes is 3 and q value is starting from 0 then ending at 2. q equal to 0, 1, 2. First put q is equal to 0 in the above equation. We get the answer plus or minus 180 into 2 into 0 plus 1 that is 1 divided by 3. So, the first asymptote is plus or minus 60. The second asymptote is put q is equal to 1. We get the second asymptote. That is plus or minus 190. Then third asymptote substitute q is equal to 2. Plus or minus 190 into 5 divided by 3 plus or minus 300. Okay, these are the ways to find out the asymptote. And next step to find out the centroid. Centroid is sum of poles minus sum of zeros divided by n minus m. What is sum of poles? The poles are 0, minus 2, minus 4. So, 0, minus 2, minus 4, minus 0 divided by because there is no 0 divided by 3. 
So minus 6 divided by 3, the answer is minus 2. So the centroid is marked on real axis and from the centroid and angle of the asymptote is marked using a protractor. Asymptote are drawn as dotted lines as shown in figure. So first I am going to mark the centroid here. So centroid is minus 2. So this is known as centroid. And next in the centroid I have to draw the asymptote. So the first asymptote that is equal to minus 60 degree. So using the protractor I have to mark minus 60 degree. Okay. So this is not minus 60 degree. So this is the angle minus 60 degree. Sorry, 60 degree. Here this is minus 60. So in this way, draw the asymptote and centroid. After finishing this, find out the breakaway point. To find the breakaway point, first of all, find out the closed loop transfer function. So C of S by R of S is G of S divided by 1 plus G of S. So now substitute the value. So K divided by S into S plus 2 into S plus 4. The whole divided by take a LCM S into S plus 2 into S plus 4 plus K. The whole divided by S into S plus 2 into S plus 4. Both are get cancelled. We get K divided by S into S plus 2 into S plus 4 plus K. So what is the characteristic equation? Denominated polynomial is known as the characteristic equation. So denominated polynomial is equal to 0 that is known as characteristic equation. So S into S plus 2 into S plus 4 plus K equal to 0. So multiply this S square plus 2 plus 6 that is 6 S 2 into 4 that is 8 plus K equal to 0. S cube plus 6 S square plus 8 S plus K equal to 0. From this what is the value of K? K is minus S cube minus 6 S square minus 8 S. On differentiating the equation k with respect to s, we get minus 3s square minus 12s minus 8. Take minus outside. Put dk by ds equal to 0. So what is the answer? Minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac by 2a. This is the equation to find out the roots. We get minus 0.845 or minus 3.154. So already have explained the root locus that should be exists between two points that is 0 and minus 2. So this is the root locus exists. And here 4 to minus infinity root locus exists. See we get two values minus 0 0.845, 0 0.354. But here for minus 0.845 that is on the root locus. Minus 0.845 that is between 0 and minus 2. And minus 3.14 there is no root locus exists. So we have to consider the point minus 0.845. Another one calculation also there. See this is the next calculation to find out which point is in the root locus. So check for k when s is equal to 0.845 the value of k is given by k is equal to uh, we have to substitute in the formula of k. So minus of minus s cube so minus 0.845 the whole cube plus 6 into minus 0.845 the whole square plus 8 into minus 0.845 that is equal to 3.08. If positive value of k exists, that is the point on the root locus. So that is the actual breakaway point. So breakaway point between two poles. Break in point between two zeros. Here we are having two poles. So breakaway point that is exists. 0.845 and check for k next for the another value we have to check we get the negative value so uh, this, this is not an actual breakaway point so you have to mark the breakaway point here minus 0.845 
Okay, next to find the crossing point on imaginary axis. So, root locus crossing point. So, what we have to do the characteristic equation is from the characteristic equation put the value s is equal to j omega. So, j omega the whole cube plus 6 j omega the whole square plus 8 j omega plus k is equal to 0. So, what is j cube? j cube is j square in the j. What is j? j square equal to minus 1 because j is equal to square root of minus 1. j square is minus 1 in the j. So, j cube is minus j. So, minus j omega cube. Here minus 6 omega square plus 8 j omega plus k equal to 0. Then equating imaginary part to 0. So, minus j omega cube plus 8 j omega equal to 0 plus Okay, here this is minus j omega cube and minus 8j omega. Both the minus are get cancelled. So, omega j, j can get cancelled. Omega and omega cube, that is omega square. Omega square equal to 8. Omega square equal to plus or minus 2.8 or 2 root 2. And next, equating real part to 0. So, minus 6 omega square plus k equal to 0. From this k is equal to 6 omega square. So, 6 in the 8, omega square equal to 8, no. So, 6 in the 8 is 48. So, the crossing point is, find of root locus is j plus or minus j 2.8. The value corresponding to this point is 45. So, here this is the crossing point j 2.8. Here minus j 2.8. Now this is the root locus. So one of the root locus that is from minus 4 to minus infinity. And next one is here this is the breakaway point. So the, this is the root locus. Root loc here this locus is divided into here break away. So this this root locus that is this point to infinity and this point to infinity. So, three root locus is exist. And next the complete root locus sketch is shown in figure. The root locus has three branches. One point starts at the pole is equal to minus travel through the negative real axis to meet the zero at infinity. Other two root locus branches start as s equal to 0 and s equal to minus 2 and travel through the negative real axis. Break away from negative real axis is equal to minus 0.845. Then cross as imaginary axis 0 point, uh, plus or minus j 2.8 and travel parallel to asymptotes to make the zeros at infinity. So we get three root locus. To find the value of k corresponding to zeta equal to 0.5. So, zeta 0.5. So, alpha equal to um, cos inverse zeta. Zeta is the damping ratio and damping factor alpha cos inverse 0.5 is equal to 60 degree. So, draw the line OP such as angle between OP and negative real axis is 60 degree. The meeting point of the line OP and root locus gives the dominant pole SD. So, k corresponding to the dominant pole SD is product of length of the vector from all poles to the point is equal to SD. Product of vector from all zeros from the point is, is equal to SD. So, here three poles correspond to three lengths divided by here there is no zero, the length is one. If you multi, uh, multiply these, we will get the answer 8, approximate value 8. This is the value of k. So, this is the original root locus and see here first four and this is 2 and this is 0, 3 uh, poles and next you have to mark the centroid then draw the asymptote and here this is the breakaway point, breakaway point that means the imagined axis j2.8, ok this should be parallel to the asymptote and next you have to draw the uh, 60 degree angle alpha damping, damping factor alpha, so 60 degree that meets the 
uh, root locus in this point. So if we uh, extend this point towards a y axis and x axis, we get the dominant pole. Now I have to mark this and draw the line uh, from 2 to uh, minus 4 to this dominant pole, minus 2 to dominant pole, 0 to dominant pole. So 0 to dominant pole that is L1, here this is L2 and minus 4 to that is L3. So we get uh, the values are uh, 1.3, 1.75, 3.5. If we multiply these, we get the answer 8. So corresponding value of 8 for the damping, uh, damping ratio 0.5, that is 8. So this is the complete root locus for the given problem. Thank you. Have a nice day.